everybody again. We've finished the bakery, we've finished fueling up. We're in Beechworth, or Bright. Oh, and actually, we're in Bright. And we're heading up to Craig's Hut, uh, over Mount Buffalo. Okay, we just turned off the main road and onto this little sort of dirt and bitumen track. Unfortunately, Phil's 690 just died. Uh, he's riding along and he just died. Um, we checked all the fuses, we checked all the relays, we checked everything. Um, and it started back up again. And then it just died again when he got back on it. So, kind of a fuel blockage or a fuel... Oh, I don't know what's going on there. We're not sure, but... We're going to put him on the truck. He's not going to be happy. He said to me last night, there's no way I am going on the truck of shame. And unfortunately today, Phil is on the truck of shame. Check this out. The high country is just full of these switchbacks. They've, they're rocky. They've got ruts in them. There's bits you can fall off the edge. Uh, you saw me nearly go off the edge of one of those... Um, sides of the cliff look at this there's just man you can have a bad day here every day of the week if you're not paying attention and we're off again what have we got here we are facing the wrong direction That's not part of our group, is no, it? He's going that way. Guy. Hey? Another guy. Did he see one of us and then dive in there? I think so, yeah. Hopefully he's alright. That guy just uh, came off and went into the gully. I don't know if he was trying to duck around one of our riders or not. Heading back into Alpine National Park now. Just talking to Woody, there's actually 45 national parks that we go through on this tour. with a lovely lake. As we leave one hut to go and find another hut, Craig's hut, the man from Snowy River. some more switchbacks for you. I actually sped this up a bit so you didn't have to watch it for too long but check out how steep they are. Well, GoPro doesn't really give it justice does it but let me tell you steep, rocky, ruddy and uh, yeah if they just keep going and going and going just one after another all the way to the bottom of the hill and then back up the other side same thing again. A lot of fun but you had to be careful.
that. So normally, when I'm riding at home, the first drink out of my um, Camelback is um, really warm, like you could put a tea bag in it because the line's been in the sun. Well, the first drink I get um, up here in the high country of my take is the um, the line is freezing cold, so I get really nice cold water straight off the bat, and then the stuff that comes from the bladder is a little bit warmer. Oh, that's cool. Just always get that first hit. That must be it. I would expect to see a gab in a second. I would have hoped to see a gab in a second. I can't hear a gab. That's not cricket. After a long climb and a whole bunch of switchbacks, welcome everybody to Craig's Hut where we'll take some photos, do a bit of drone work, and have a general meander through Craig's Hut. And then we're out. What are you doing? Kerrigan's at his house. And there you go. Yeah, I know, it's bitumen, but just thought I'd show you Bonnie Doon and the lake where you gotta love the smell of two stroke in the morning. Imagine riding up a nice country road and then this happens. Yeah, some crazy fool just rides right up the middle of you. And like all good things, they must come to an end. And this is where we ride back into the caravan park to shake hands and park company. But not before going to a farewell dinner at the uh, local pub down the road, which was great. And big thank you to Elwood Motorcycle Adventures, Woody and Elise. All the guys in the background, the guys that lit the fires, mate, you guys are legends when we were really cold. The sweep riders, how could we forget? Rexy and Gav, the two legends that just keeps everyone going. Anyway, farewell everyone. This was an absolutely epic adventure. Highly recommended to anyone. And we'll see you on the next adventure.